A horrific tragedy hitting hard all across the city of New Orleans. Three children are dead after an early morning house fire. Family members tell WDSU the kid's own father is responsible for starting the fire and then walking away. NOPD confirms they have arrested him and he faces multiple charges, including three counts of second degree murder. We have live team coverage from how officers track down the father to a history of domestic violence and we have the desperate 911 call for help. First, we begin with WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor live on the scene with the emotional reaction from those who live in the neighborhood. Shay. Gina, we're actually here along America Street where people are still in shock. And let me just say, there has been an overwhelming amount of support from community members in this area. As you can see, balloons and candles. People have been bringing this by all day. A lot of people have been touched by this tragedy. Neighbors tell me they will never be the same. Now, take a look at this video there on your screen from earlier this morning. It shows a man walking out of a home as it is on fire. He hops into a black car and leaves the area. NOPD says, a little before midnight, the mother of the three kids called 911, saying their father intended to burn the house down. Neighbors tell me the woman was at work and the father had agreed to watch the kids. He's identified by NOPD as Joseph Washington, and he is now in custody. You see him there on your screen. Now, we're told the firefighters, or when they arrived, the five-year-old girl and eight-year-old boy were rescued from the home. They were sadly pronounced dead at the scene. The three-year-old was eventually recovered from the the home also pronounced dead on scene once i hit the end of my hall you could just see the the house engulfed in flames and all i could think about is where are the kids i saw their mom outside and i'm yelling where's the kids and she said they're inside and we're yelling to the fire department you got to get the babies out of the house it's so unreal you know talking to the neighbor who said he, he had the kid in his arms um as the kid you know you know was given to ems uh seeing the house is it's, it's sad. It's, it's, it shows what some of these kids are dealing with, you know, at home. Now, before the arrest, Joseph Washington's father. And What's going on, world? We back with another one. It's the MFL Motivation Podcast, Money, Family, Loyalty. I'm here to talk about um, a murder that happened in some part of New Orleans where dad um burnt his kids up in the house three of his kids man it's sad man i don't i just don't understand what this world coming to but something need to be done about this man um people just don't care no more man people killing their kids now and it's really getting out of hand it is really getting out of hand man and uh, something need to be done about this, man. Uh, why you just don't take your own life? Get your own self out of here. Three innocent children died. Left here because of their ungrateful father. Because of the situation, whatever going on with him and the um, kid's mother, I heard she divorced him a few years ago. And um, she had to go to work or whatever. And he said he was going to watch the kids. So he called and threatened to say he's going to burn the house up and kill the kids. And he actually did just that. But, um,. He need to rot in hell for killing them kids like that, man. He shouldn't even, jail ain't worth it. He don't even need to be in jail. He need to be in, up under the ground. He don't need to die. He need to, he need a slow death. He need to, he need to suffer for the rest of his life. Kill your own kids. Killing kids, period. But your own flesh and blood, three innocent kids ain't did nothing. They barely know what's going on, man. Then they said two of them was at the front door trying to get out. 
was trying to get out that house. But when the five men, the five place, the five people got to the door, all of them died on the scene. When they got to him, it was too late to smoke. Killed him, man. And, and he literally burnt the house down, locked the doors, and got in his car and pulled off like he was just going to the store. I don't know what this world coming to, but I think, I think this world coming to an end, man, cause if you, if you can, if you can kill your kids, so I know what you think about another human being, nothing, you don't care. Three innocent children lost their life because whatever your dad is suffering or whatever their daddy was going through suffering or had against the mother because they said they was in a toxic relationship, they fought every day. I mean, it was just a bunch of mess with them and um, but who in their right mind? And that's how she probably was thanking the neighbors. Thinking like, really? Everybody in shock, man. Like, that ain't normal, man. I know it happened in other states. This just hit the news or whatever. And I'm breaking it out now. But y'all hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, man. Um... Uh, a lot of more content on the way. I just want to speak on that, man. Let me know what y'all think about it. Leave a comment. Share this video, man. And uh, this world is getting out of hand. I just don't understand it. How can't you kill three innocent kids for no reason? And then he drove his car in the river. And then they, they seen him. He jumped in the water. Well, they retained him, and they end up catching him like that. So. I don't know, y'all, but. If you're going through something that bad, and, and the first thing that's going through your mind and your head at the time is to kill your children. Just take the gun or whatever you finna do, what you thinking about doing to your kids or whoever else, and just put it in your own mouth and kill yourself. You don't let nobody else suffer or make nobody else suffer for your mistakes or your wrongdoing or whatever you got going on. Because by you killing them ain't gonna fix your problem. It's not gonna fix your problem because you killed this person and killed that person. It's gonna make it worse. Now you got to suffer with that for the rest of your life. Them kids going to hunt him down for the rest of his life. He'll never be able to sleep good. But you got some sick people out here don't care. Probably will sleep good. But I hope he suffer. I hope they beat that. I hope they just beat him. Beat him and just beat him. And make him suffer. Killing them three innocent kids, your own flesh and blood. Then making them suffer. Burning the house down. Locking all the doors and leave. Like ain't nothing happened. Like he, like, he, like he just leaving and going off to work somewhere. Now these kids, mom, mother, got to suffer for the rest of her life. They had to take her to the hospital. Because she going, she going through it right now. Nervous breakdown, man. That lady will never be the same. That lady going to need... Counseling a lot of help. Somebody gonna have to be around that lady at all time now. That lady would probably never breathe the same, look the same, act the same, talk the same, nothing. Man, y'all hit that like button. Share this video, man. This the MFL Motivation Podcast, man. Money, family, loyalty. We going to the top, whether you know it or not. It's a lot of big things coming, man, and then. I just don't, I'm, I'm speechless right now, man. I don't know what to think. But some got to, some got to help me, some, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think no more, man. I, I just don't understand. 
But I want to give a shout out to my whole team, man. The whole MFL team. My son, MFL, Drake Jr. I want to give a shout out to my brother-in-law, Roseberry, Terrence, MFL Terrence, MFL DeRay, MFL YT. To my wife, MF, MFL Shamika, to my daughter, MFL Drea. We do big things over here, man. A lot of content on the way. Hit the like button. And I thank y'all. Without y'all, this channel wouldn't be here. This the MFL Motivation Podcast, Money, Family, and Loyalty. We got to do better out here by our kids, man. I made a, um, a video about my kids and other people's kids. Like, talk to your kids. See what's on their mind. It ain't just about watching TV. Take that phone and, you know, have a conversation with your kids. It ain't all about YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You know, have a conversation with your children. See what's on their mind. Ask them. Sit back and watch TV, watch movies, and talk to each other. Have fun doing it. But be serious about whatever you're talking about. Life is short. Talk to your kids. Talk to your significant other, your wife, your spouse, your girlfriend, boyfriend. Talk to them. Talk. Everybody get in the room and let's have a conversation. Speak what's on your mind. Don't hold nothing in. Because pressure bust pipes. And I guess his pipe busted. Now they need to bust him. For the rest of his life. I, I just don't get it. Before I think about killing my children, before they even hit my head, I do something to myself before I do something to my family. Kids ain't did, ain't did nothing to you, period. Nothing. Yeah, you're going to holler and scream at your children and sit down, on a, but talking about killing your children, your babies, no, man.